Hello everyone, my name is Ben or Benst or Benjifies and I tweak computers and today I am going to be showing you how to get lower ping and network latency on Fortnite. So first what we want to do is press Windows plus R, go to control, if I could type it right, press enter, network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings. Now from here you should have a list of network and internet adapters. Make sure you click the one that you're currently using. So double click, properties, and for our first step what we want to do is just make sure everything except QoS packet scheduler and I, internet protocol version 4 is off. So everything else should be off and by everything I mean everything. If you have exit lag you could keep it on. So from here we can go to configure, yes advanced you can copy pretty much most of the settings so like energy efficient ethernet can be off flow control can be off interrupt moderation rate can be off packet priority and vlan packet priority enabled receive buffers and transmit buffers can be 512 or 256 speed and duplex can be one gigabyte full duplex and the rest of these we don't really have to worry about for now now we can press ok your internet may go out for just a second and come back as you can see here. Now what we want to do is go into properties again, go to internet protocol version four properties. And here we can go to advanced, make sure interface metric is one. Now go to wins and make sure disable net BIOS over TCP slash IP is off. Make sure it's disabled. Press okay. Okay, close, close, and close out of all of this. Now, from here, we can go into the folder that I have here. It will be located in the free tweak section of my Discord that you can find in the link in the description. So we can open this folder, and from here, we can go to tweaks.txt. So we can do Windows CMD, run as administrator. So from here, we can copy highlight and copy, paste, enter. Now we can do the same thing for each one of these tweaks. As you can see here, you highlight only one tweak at a time, paste, enter, oh, paste and enter. And now once that is done, you can close out of that, close out of that. So here for our last step, or actually our second to last step, we can open Network Tweaker with PowerShell once it opens, make sure you select your adapter. And from here, you can pretty much copy all of these settings. Make sure all of these are disabled. Go to MSI mode, make sure it's enabled, undefined, machine default. Make sure disable raw security is set to one. Fast send datagram threshold you can play with, but make sure you know how to revert it. Once you have copied all of these settings, go to apply all. You'll see it applies everything in the PowerShell menu. And once that is finished, you can close out of that. Now for our actual last step, we can go into Windows, GP Edit, Enter. So from here, what you want to do is open Windows Settings, Policy Based QoS. Now, right click that, create new policy, name the policy, whatever you want, that doesn't matter. So for me, I'll do Fortnite, but since I already have a Fortnite one, I'll just do Fortnite too. And specify a DSCP value, you want to set that to 46. What this tweak does is make sure all of your bandwidth, or at least most of your bandwidth, goes to your game. So now if you have Fortnite, I'll show you. Press only applications with this executable name. Go into your folder and find Fortnite. So for me, it would be in this folder, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. So from here, we can right click and rename this file control a control c now we can close out of that go into only execute only applications with this executable name control v next next and then here you want to select tcp put it to tcp and udp now finish from here you can close out of this and restart your computer so after all these tweaks your internet should be fairly tweaked and fairly optimized if you want even lower ping and network latency, make sure to join my Discord in the description and book a service with me personally.
Thank you all so much for watching. If you want more like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching again and have a great day.